Hey guys, it's your girl. Hey guys, who the fuck is guys? Hey y'all, it's your girl back at it again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you how I make my arroz con pollo y habichuela. And for translation, that just means rice, chicken, and beans. And I think I did pretty good. My presentation is always good. So in the video, I'll show you how to make it, what you need, and I'll do a taste test at the end. And for those of you that do not know, my name is Samantha Hihon. I post makeup, lifestyle, and fashion videos here on YouTube. And if any of that is your cup of tea, please keep on watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends just to see if it's their cup of tea as well. We're on the road to 500. That's my next goal. So if you could help get us there, that'd be amazing. And let's get on with the video. All right, so first I start with just chopping up the chicken. You can leave it as a tender, a breast. Um, you can even boil it to have shredded chicken. It's all your preference and how you would like to present your food. Are right, you guys so for lack of ingredients i only had adobo to add to my chicken which still came out super good um, but usually i do add one packet of sazon um, and that just gives it an extra flavor and some more color Are right, you guys so you're just gonna add whatever oil you choose to cook with whether it's vegetable olive oil you know so on and so forth and we're gonna add about two I used a fork um, fork fools of sofrito can you guys believe after four years of living in Iowa I finally found this tub oh my goodness it was so hard to live without sofrito i mean i make good food but i swear sofrito just gives it a little extra mm. and then you just add your chicken um if if you chopped it up like i said um before it's gonna give a faster cooking time so what you want to do is make sure you monitor it don't let other pieces burn faster than others keep moving it flip it once you think it's done um, for a more crispier taste just leave it a little longer but like i said since they're chopped they will cook faster Are you guys moving on to the rice? Um, we're gonna begin with a hot pot and we're gonna add some oil. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. With salt, remember when you add it to a dish, you cannot take away. So just add a little bit and if you feel as though in the end it needs more, you add it later. We're gonna add two cups of rice. And for me, I was taught you do a ratio of one to two, one cup of rice to two cups of water. Um, and it just depends on how you were taught. And if we, you were taught differently, then congratulations. You know, good for you. <laughs>
all right so i'm going in with the el patot hot tomato sauce i say hot because it is spicy if you're someone that doesn't like spice you can go ahead and use just regular tomato sauce and a little bit more salt just because the tomato sauce regular one doesn't have too much like flavor or seasoning um or if you do want that little kick, like I said, I used half a can. If you want more of a kick, you can go ahead and use the whole thing. Um, either way, the water is going to dilute it a little bit, um, but it's just going to make a better flavor in the end. All right, as I mentioned before, um, our ratio one to two. So I put two cups of rice. We're going to put four cups of water. all right so here we're just gonna stir our rice the top is dry i didn't see any more water so that's when you want to stir um, at this point you can turn off the heat and either take it away from the heat or whatever you got to do and then put the lid on and let it just cook itself steam itself out All right, you guys, I'm putting corn into our beans today, so I cooked that first. I used our leftover garbanzo beans and potatoes from the night before uh, just to get it out of my refrigerator. And also because it did pack some extra flavor just because that does have a sazon packet. But if you season your food properly, I'm sure you wouldn't even need that sazon packet. Um, so frito, salt, some tomato sauce is perfectly fine you'll see that my pot changed because this little ass pot was not doing justice for all the other ingredients we're gonna have to add To add a half a can of tomato sauce to our bean corn potato you know side <laughs> and with this I added that just because as we say we want more juguito we want a more juice consistency because it can get spilt on our rice or chicken I'm gonna add some sofritos for some added flavor I said before the tomato sauce doesn't really have too much flavor so you do want to keep adding in that flavor as you're going you would like to taste it as you go so you know you're not adding too much of something so frito has a lot of flavor and I just added a little bit of salt so that adds flavor too and I said before you can't take salt away so start with a little bit taste it and gradually build if needed
Are you guys so here I'm just plating the food you want to make your guest or obviously recipient of the food feel a little more special and make it look like you took the time to not only cook for them but curate their plate obviously if you don't really give a fuck and you're just hungry the person's hungry you want to throw them the plate cool you can do that but I started doing this about a year or two ago and I feel much better when I present my plate a little more cleaner obviously this isn't as clean as I would have hoped but it's still a little presentation you know moment of truth it's time to taste it um, as I said before the tomato sauce that I used in the rice would be a little spicy so I say go half or mix it um, half and half of regular tomato sauce and that can or you can just put regular tomato sauce for no spice but let's get a little bit of everything oh my gosh I don't miss ever. I'll also be showing a larger taste test in this when he gets home. I feel weird. It's good. Okay, okay. Chef's kiss. Mm, thanks, babe. But for my opinion, Mm. Crack yourself open a little beer. If you're not 21 yet, go ahead and crack yourself open a Capri Sun and get into it. Oh, all right. Let me go before I finish the plate on camera. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, comment something else you would like me to make. I am open to suggestions. But please know that everything I make is my rendition and I'm not following your mama's, my mama's, or nobody recipe because I'm Samantha. I ain't your mama. So, um, like I said, if you like the video, please give a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and, and let me know if you make this dish because we're chef's kiss. All right, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.